Uh, so here, uh, Fiona Davis and in white. And Charlotte von Baumengarten in blue. They fought yesterday in the, uh, in, their, in the open weight class, yes. And uh, Fiona defeated her by submission. Fiona's been on fire lately. She's had mm -hmm. been on fire. One of the most dominant female competitors on the planet right now, Fionn Davis. Came from a huge win at ADCC over Bia Mesquita, who was by far the, the favorite in the bracket. Bia is one of the most accomplished females in the history of the sport. An amazing Got number, submitted huh? by Fionn Davis. Very impressive. Very elegant. She's just all over the place. Is she the final of the absolute, right? Yes, and it's the, she's in the, also in the final of the open weight class, for sure. And Good control here by Fiona pass. Davis. Early in the, pass, in, the, in the fight, too. Fiona Davis, that is from Ireland. You know, Dublin. And uh, she's doing an amazing job as a competitor, showing the level. He in Europe just skyrocketing. With the lead now, Fionn Davis, three to nothing. And leading in the advantage of this wall. Yeah, very aggressive game. She's tight, sharp, a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure on the neck and you're controlling the elbow. They have one that controls, stops everything, any movement. Some things never change. <laughs> the underhook has is, is worked 100 years ago, <laughs> but it's still there. And it will work for a long Forever. time to come. As long as human anatomy doesn't change, that yeah. underhook is still going to be one of the best positions to have in Jiu-Jitsu. And you know, my score another three now. Straight to the mount, three plus four. Beautiful. She, she's got a, she does a really good job going mount and then mount to head and arm and then or arm bar and then from there to the back. It seems like that's like her yeah. her A game. Seven zero in the final. Ten zero now plus the pass. Wow, racks up 10 points in under three minutes. Wow. And she looked like if she's been, if she's going to continue doing what she has been doing this weekend, Fionn Davis will leave the mats with yet another submission. She's been on fire. Very impressive. And she's got a really tight game, man. She's just tight. Her passing, her mount, and she doesn't give her opponent a whole bunch of options once she gets that mount. And then they end up either giving the arm ball in the back because they're trying to escape and they can't do that without compromising position. There you go. So, goes that head and arm. That's not looking good. Now, Vitor Oliveira had that exact same position exactly. earlier today with Gucciehi. And, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a horrible spot for Charlotte to be in. You can't even push the arm through. You're just really stuck. And it gives you just enough space to breathe, Braulio, but it's not, it's, it's not, not always easy to finish. Yeah. yeah, not to escape. It's, it's not always easy to finish that position either. Vito did when he tried to try to do the same thing. The transition for an Ezekiel. Ezekiel, right. And I, based off what Fionn Davis has been doing all weekend, I think she's going to try to go for an armbar. Charlotte is aware of that, so she's keeping her elbows in really tight, not giving Davis much to work with. And... To the back. Yeah, she, she really... Well, she's getting better control there for the Katakatana. Yes, very look at that. I like that position. Jiu -jitsu, very simple, but very well done. But she has to go a little bit back, step back with the hips to be able to put the shoulder by the, by the neck. Yeah, get a little bit lower, yeah. set up that head and aim, arm. You need to go aim the chest to the neck, not cheek to, ch to the neck. Yes. Otherwise, you stop. Well, shoulder pressure, generally speaking, starts with the chest. Everyone aims for the jaw, and you end yeah. up on the forehead. You gotta aim for the chest to end up on the neck. Right? Yes, exactly. 
Otherwise, if you lead from top to bottom, it's, it doesn't gonna go to the ninth. Yeah, you can always move up. Can, you can't always move down, right? Oh, on that exactly. pressure. That's a good rule. Uh, so looked like Fion is gonna carry another win here. Even though only halfway through the match, she's had a 10-point lead. Charlotte is really struggling, and on she the hides mount. the lapel. Smart. You see, Charlotte was fishing for that lapel to try to put the, her foot there. She's still doing it, and Fion is fully aware of it. This is intelligent, uh, an intelligent competitor. Like, she's blocking her opponent every... What she wants to do. Yes. You give them absolutely nothing to work with. And I think that observing Fion, that's one thing that she does really well. Is she doesn't give her opponents a whole bunch to work with. She's constantly aware of not only her offense, but her opponent's mm -hmm. defense and offense as well. Yeah, have pressure control that is next to them. I'm really excited to see Adam in the final. Adam Vajinski is Adam Vajinski really well. and Keenan Cornelius. That's an interesting I'm, matchup. Yeah, I really want to see Very different that. styles. Different styles. But same kind of length. Yes, very similar build. I agree. Yeah. But completely different games. Adam bringing back old school butterfly guard. And he does it to everyone. It goes to show that something that worked before works now. It's not going to change. But he's unusual because he's the only guy that, that in the yeah, division that plays that game. And it, I think it really is an advantage because just like Keenan throws people off with his lapel guard, no, Adam sure, Virginia sure. throws people off with his butterfly because people aren't used to defending it. Best back taken here by Fiona. And we were just talking about it and confirming the prediction. She takes the back. 14 to nothing. Let's see if she can get that submission. Charlotte is doing a great job defending herself there, but Fion is just relentless about her offense. She can get that submission. Wow. Oh my Strong, God. Beautiful. That's so much pressure. What a. She kind of stuck. She cannot move. What a performance there by Fion Davis. I mean, Charlotte, you know, once again, great defense. It's just, it's not enough to escape. It's just enough. She's been doing enough to survive. Let's see if she can transition that bow and arrow now. Charlotte there with the bridge, trying to take some of the pressure. It's always harder to finish someone on the back when they're bridging, yeah, right? It takes some of the pressure off the choke. And it's good it defense. Be below the chest. Yeah, but for you to escape, you got to win that head fight. You got to move the right way. And then even so, it's like an uphill battle escape in the back. There's a reason why the back is the king of jiu-jitsu. Right? It's the number one position in jiu-jitsu. Gi, no gi, MMA. It doesn't matter what arena you're in. If there's a position you should be excellent in, to, in my opinion, it's the back take. Would you agree, Mr. Brother? Yes. It's the number one submission position, right? MMA, gi, and no gi is the back. Or, you know, the gi is not always the rear naked choke. It's the bow and arrow often, but... In, in no game in May, you see so many Renegade chokes, and it says something about back and forth. No. You gotta, you gotta know how to escape if you wanna do yes. well, because it happens often if you, if you get someone that's really good in the back, my goodness. That's Her. what Roger was really good at. I was just gonna say, I remember when Tiddy they caught his back in 2003. Tiddy, Tiddy, Margarita. <sighs> and he's like, it's over. Jack Array, and he escapes and so just... So calm. It's crazy. And Theon Davis. With the choke, let's see if she can get it. Opens up the guard, transitioning to oh my modified God, that's bow and arrow. And this could be it. Yeah, yeah it's not that. That's it. Wow. She's so strong. Lightweight, women's champion, Theon Davis. A good chance of double goal today. Wow. Props to Charlotte. She's one tough cookie. Did a really good job defending herself, but she got submitted yesterday. She got submitted again today. Neon Davis has been on a roll. And she is the new lightweight champion. They replay. He has beautiful pass. So dominant. Yeah, and it's the aggression too. It's not just the technique of it, but how aggressive and then how tight she is. Like we were just talking earlier how like the, to me the best recipe for passing is exactly that right there. Dynamic, agile movement, get to a good position, lock, give your opponent absolutely nothing to work with. And that 
is exactly what Fionn Davis is doing in the past. She's so fast and agile, moves around, leg drive, beautiful, gets to a good position, locks, it's a wrap, gives her opponent.